And in terms, again, going back to your question with stress, emotions are connected to stress. So it's really important to be able to, co to control our emotions. Breathing is, is simply one of the ways. Now, in, there's a lot of confusion in Western cultures when it comes to emotion because we confuse the notion of feeling and sensation and emotion because there's no distinction that's made between them. Now, my personal definition of emotions and feelings is the following. I look at emotions as a configuration, a very specific configuration or matrix of sensations in our body to which we attach a label. Again, it's a, a configuration, a very specific configuration or matrix or grouping of sensations in our body to which we attach a label. Now, the, the issue, the confusion becomes comes into play because we have these sensations to which we attach labels on one hand, but people attach different labels to different things. So the universal problem is that we have no way of knowing for an individual exactly what those sensations are to which they're attaching labels. And For example, when a person says, oh, I'm happy, that happiness is created, again, it's a, it's a configuration of sensations in the body. What makes one person happy may be, I mean, what how a person determines if he or she is happy is calibrated by, let's say, uh, a lightness in the chest. For another person, it may be a tingling in the body. For another person, it may be a sound coming through the mic. It's not. Or this is not a sound anything. effect. I'm in the middle of a thunderstorm, and it's so oh, great. Hey, interesting. Well, the universe is confirming. Very good. Well, you were talking about tingling, and then the lightning. Right. You could, it was classic. That's like, great. I love it. Thank you. Cut. You've been wonderful. <laughs> Good night, folks. Sorry. It's well, you know, it's, there, there's that. It's a vibration. I mean, here we have an electrical impulse. These feelings are connected, no, no pun intended, to these impulses in our body. And we have different types of emotions. We have what we call good feelings and bad feelings. And when we say that, what we're doing is literally interpreting the sensations. We are translating them linguistically through our bodies and thoughts in our heads. Again, the mind-body-heart connection comes into play. Now, how do we create emotions? We create them in different ways, and we encode them in different ways. As I said, people attach different labels to their sensations, and we encode them, these labels in different ways. Now, how do we create them? Do you think they just appear out of nowhere? Uh-uh. They don't just fall from the sky. Emotions have a behavioral basis, and they're created in one of several ways. They're created through pictures of voices in our head, through sounds in our head, or things we're, we hear on the outside, through sensations, through smells, etc., or through words. That's that AD, that auditory digital component. The sounds are the, the, the way something sounds. That's the auditory tonal component. So it's through visual, auditory, kinesthetic, once again, and also olfactory or gustatory. And I'll just quickly uh, mention the olfactory and gustatory because they're, we don't pay enough attention to them in our society. The olfactory is our sense of what? Our sense of smell. And why do you think the fragrance industry spends billions of dollars on different fragrances? Because... They are connected to emotions. They are connected to feelings, to experiences we've had. Have you ever walked into a room and you smell a particular, whether it be a rose or a fragrance, it'll immediately take you back to a time in your life where, oh, wow, this feels really, it was just a wonderful experience you had. Taste is also important. The gustatory chocolate have you ever tasted a piece of chocolate that takes you back to a time when you were oh my that first experience you had whatever it may be with a loved one where you're eating chocolate or whatever it, it just conjures up all these amazing images that